Hello, I'm Brenda, and in this video, I will teach you how to survive a tsunami. Peru is situated in the coast of Pacific Ocean, and it's important to know how to survive a tsunami. So, let's start. Imagine. You're on a beach and not a worry in the world. The sun browns in your skin, sun trickling between your toes, sun over the waves. Wait, what? Where did all the water go? Did you see it going out? Birds are quick in a matter of minutes. You may be underwater. Here's how to survive a tsunami according to science. A tsunami is a string of immense waves that appear after earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, underwater landslides, and even asteroids impact. This event displays huge volumes of water, pushing it up over the ocean floor its surface. Then, when gravity pulls back down, all this wood energy is released upwards forming deadly waves that grow stronger as they ripple across the ocean. The largest mega tsunami weather ever recorded was documented in July 9, 1958 in Ituya Bay in Alaska. The height of the wave reached the stunning 524 meters. The situation is under as soon as you find a tsunami is coming you, you must act immediately to save your life. A crown travel occurred across whole oceans, moving on the speed that I get our plane, so we have speed. The question is, how does anyone stand chance against a tsunami? Even in a tsunami has your son, you can still survive if you know what to do. First step to survive is the other to identify early signs to the tsunami. The Pacific Ocean is home to volatile technology activity. That 75 of the worst volcanic eruption occur in the Pacific. 90% of the world aircraft occur in the Pacific. It is the reason because the 85% of the world tsunamis all happen in the Pacific Ocean. In most cases, an earthquake comes before a tsunami. So if you're near the coast and you're experiencing an earthquake, forget yourself from that first. But once a shaking stops, move the higher ground as quickly as possible. The beach will grow bigger. Rain the other way. An early sign of independence tsunami is a warning along the coast we receive. It pulls back and exposes the seafloor. Do not go to the beach to investigate. You only point yourself at risk when the water to your back. Instead, head in the opposite direction. Try to get as far three and a half kilometers from the ocean or 30 meters above sea level to ensure your safety. Also, other kind to see that tsunami is coming is pay attention to strange behavior change in animals. If they unexpectedly grow together high in different nodes, leave the area or show strange signs, this may be signs in approaching natural disasters. As soon as you hear a tsunami alert, don't wait for a even second evacuate immediately. Get to the final elevation push. Tsunami throws with it as you may have not Time to clear the hazard zone. In this case, look for a top building with a sturdy concrete foundation. If you see one early, run inside and get to the roof as quickly as possible. If you can make it into a building in time, the best bet is grab onto the something and hold on. Though that may not sound very practical, hold the area for the moment. In 2004, a young ocean tsunami in Indonesia was finally rescued after holding onto a palm tree for five days. Trace. While in this area, if you can't go to higher ground in time, you need to find something to hold on to. As the tsunami moves in its land, it will slap some of the reason along with it. This can be very dangerous as accumulation of debris travel the high speeds become flooded up the place for anyone who's been caught in the current. However, many tsunamis can happen safe by climbing onto the dead trees or hunting on pine leaves to floating birds or other large objects. At first, it's not over. 
this over. A tsunami isn't one wave, but a series of waves known as a tsunami wave train. Waves may be anywhere from 5 minutes apart to an hour apart, and be aware that their wave isn't always the strongest. So even when you think it's over, stay where you're safe and in the head from local officials. It's go without saying tsunami or terrified. When a 30 meters away is holding towards you at 800 kilometers in no worse, you're probably feeling pretty hapless. But have time in science for computer research. And you see there's always a way out. Well, this is all for today. I hope that you like the video. If you is there, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. See you soon.